All right. Before this video starts, I want to let you guys know something very, very important. Don't skip this. It's freaking snowing. Yes, that's right. There's snow outside. I love it. That was very important. You needed to know that. Anyways, enjoy the video. Hey, old people, I'm Kip Peppers 3, and welcome back to the Stanley Parable. So today, I'm joined by a very special guest. That tiger over there. His name is Oreo. If you don't tell me in the comments that he's adorable, I'll steal your dog. If you don't have a dog, then you're safe. For now. Anyways, welcome back to the Stanley Parable. I know there's still a couple endings I haven't got. I've only done four episodes, and I've looked it up, and there's big YouTubers who have like eight episodes. So, we'll see where I can get with this. A friend of mine has told me about another ending that involves hitting buttons on a computer and restarting. So I'm going to try that one to begin with. Yeah. All right, let's go. All right, I'm looking for a computer that says awaiting Stanley input. Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps this he had it? simply missed a memo. No matter how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find the trace it. of his co-workers. Is that it? I can't read that. I don't think that's it. Because the bar is supposed to be, like, empty. That might be it, though. That might be it. Was that room always there? I'm getting really paranoid in this game. I'm, like, thinking things are supposed to be here. Unname access. I'm just gonna hit all the computers I can. And this one. What if I turn all of them off? That's the way to go. I can't get in there, though. That one's playing solitaire. I love the music. The music is nice. Alright, I don't want to go in there. Alright, so... I was supposed to turn off whatever computer it was, and then restart. And then do this multiple times until some bar is full. On All of There was a bar on this gone. one. What could it mean? Bam. Decided to go to the meeting room. It doesn't Perhaps look any more full than it was before, though. I mean, it doesn't either, but I'll just try again. <gasps> Here it is. Awaiting input. Input received. Alright, now begin game again. I don't think that one was there before. Did I just miss that one? All of his co-workers were gone. Oh my what gosh. Stanley is never the end, is never the end, is never the end, is never the end. I don't like this. Just shut up. He couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. I'm gonna turn them all off. I think that's all of them in this room. Oh, I love this game. Waiting input, input received. Bam. And just to be safe, I'm gonna turn all of these off. Oh, I can close the store. Cool. Alright, begin again. All right. Uh, all his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided all right, all the computers the are the same now. Perhaps he had simply or, or the same as they were. Bump my mic back a little so I'm not yelling into it. Uh, that. Where's the input one? Unnamed access. Okay, where's the one that's awaiting an input? Did I miss it? No matter how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. It's not in my office, is it? I can't go back in my office, so how will... But I know. Alright, I'm gonna try again. Because I turned off all the others. Oh. My gosh. Um. Four, two... The doors are much bigger now. They were not that big. Maybe they were... When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. I'm gonna go this way. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Sure. Um... <sighs> None of yes, this has changed. Truly a room worth admiring, but eager to get back to business, I was told Stanley took the first open door on his left. 
that when the so input bar was through the full, section, walk straight ahead something would happen. Door However, on track. the bar never filled. It was only like two in, so yeah, I feel like I did something wrong. Person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up. Stanley stepped into the broom closet, I'm gonna sit in the broom but there was closet. nothing here, so he turned around and got back on track. Fine. I'm just looking for another another computer with the awaiting input. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. <sighs> is it here now? Oh, here it is. Ha! I found it. Input received. Begin again. I'm a genius. All right, we're back to normal. All of his co-workers were It's all gone. saying the end is never what the end mean? again. Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Waiting input. No matter how hard Stanley looked, Bam. he couldn't Wait. find a trace of his co-workers. It won't let me. There we go. Input received. I'm going to turn off all of these again cuz why not? Ah! Ah! Don't ask why. The screaming was very necessary. It just was. Someone was following Stanley. He was sure of it. If he checked over his shoulder now, he would surely catch them. It was only a matter of time. What? I am extremely paranoid now. There's only one more input bar. I'm just going to double check to make sure I didn't miss it from one of these rooms. That's not nice. Now I literally am just paranoid. Is that one? I think I need to go on. I think it's upstairs. Frick. One eternity later. And when at last also, he found the source of the room I've come power. here. He knew it was his duty. And then I've never hit on before. To put an so I'm going to try that, oh, actually. Stanley, you didn't just activate the controls, did you? Yes. After they kept you enslaved all these years, you go and you try to take control of the machine for yourself. Is that what you wanted? Yes, that's control? what I want. Power. Oh, Stanley, I applaud your effort, I really do. But you need to understand, there's only so much that machine can do. You were supposed to let it go. Turn the controls off and leave. Okay. If you want to throw my story off track, you're going to have to do much better than that. I'm afraid you don't have nearly the power you think you do. For example, and I believe you'll find this pertinent, Stanley suddenly realized he had just initiated the network's emergency detonation system. In the uh -oh. event that this machine is activated without proper DNA identification, nuclear detonators are set to explode, oh, eliminating crap. the entire complex. Well, I'm sure. Well, until detonation, then, mm, let's say um, two minutes. Ah, now this is making things a little more fun, isn't it? Stanley? Uh, no. It's your time to shine. Uh, you are the star. It's your story now. Shape it to your heart's desires. Oh, this is much better than what I had in mind. What a shame we have so little time left to enjoy it. Shoot, there's Mere so much. Moments until the bomb goes off. But what oh, precious five, two, one. moments each one of them is. More time to talk about you, about me, where we're going. What oh, five, two, one. Where's zero? I barely know where to start. I don't know what to do. You'd like to know where your co-workers are? A moment of solace before you're obliterated? No. All right, I'm in a good mood. You're going to die anyway. I'll tell you exactly what happened to them. I erased them. I turned off the machine. You monster. You free. Of course, the crap is merely in this instance of the story. Sometimes when I tell it, I simply let you sit there in your office forever, pushing buttons endlessly and then dying alone. Wow. Rude. Other times, I let the office sink into the ground, swallowing everyone wow. inside, right. or I let it burn to a crisp. I have to say this, though. This version of events has been rather amusing. Watching you try to make sense of everything and take back the control wrested away from you, it's quite rich. I almost hate to see it go. But I'm sure whatever I come up with on the next go around will be even better. Where's the yellow My button? My goodness, only 34 seconds left. 
You know what? Crap you. So much. You know what? To with it. I'm going to put some extra time on the clock. Why not? I'm fine with that. Precious additional seconds, Stanley. Time doesn't grow on trees. Yeah, I know. Thanks. What's the matter, Stanley? Is it that you have no idea where you're going or what you're supposed to be doing right now? Or did you just assume when you saw that timer that something in this room was capable of turning it off? I hit input green. Do I have to hit green? from button to button, screen to screen, clicking you know on every little thing in this room. Crap you. These numbered buttons. No, these colored ones. Or maybe this big red button. Or this door. Everything, anything, something here will save oh, me. Okay. Why would you think that, Stanley? That this video game can be beaten? One soul? What? Do you have any idea? Able not ask us. This <laughs> I just need a zero. You're in for I'm so confused. But here's a spoiler for you. That timer isn't a catalyst to keep the action moving along. It's just seconds ticking away to your death. I'm pretty sure you're only it's still catalyst. playing instead of watching a cutscene because I want to watch you for every moment that you're powerless to see you made humble. Oh, so you can't really do this anything. Is not a challenge. It's a tragedy. You wanted to control this world. That's fine, but I'm going to destroy it first, so you can't. Well, fine. Take a look at the clock, Stanley. That's thirty seconds you have left to strike. Thirty seconds. I just hit the big, big red button. No ending here. Just you being blown to pieces. I don't think the big red button did anything. For your life, or will you let it go peacefully? Another choice. Make it I'm just gonna come down here. It's all the same to Stand me. here. Part of the and probably die. And believe me, I will be laughing at every second of your inevitable life from the moment we fade in. Two, until the one, say, dead. Well, I couldn't find the other computer. So there's that. Also, I blew up. I'm dead now. I'm assuming I, I messed it up. Wait, this phone is ringing. Good morning. Thank you for contacting the Future Happiness Foundation. We are confirming what? the shipment of 1,327 cardboard boxes to your place of work. Can you verify that this is correct? Excellent. Your order will arrive shortly. Thank you again for contacting the Future Happiness Foundation. That's a lot of freaking boxes. Um. Okay. Do I need to restart now? I'm so confused. Also, the narrator hasn't been talking at all. When Stanley came to a set the game, game again. I'm gonna restart and see if that does anything. All of his co-workers were gone. What could Look at all these boxes! Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Oh my gosh! Simply missed a memo. This is this is amazing. I I can't do anything. There are too many boxes. They're everywhere. What is this? There are boxes in here. There are. I can't go in any rooms. Um, also, I, I thought of a room. I can't remember the na number now. It was like 5 2 something. Why are there so many freaking boxes? So many freaking boxes. Wow. All right. That's a lot of boxes. Um, moving on. There are more boxes in there. I think those are usually there, though. Why are there boxes everywhere? All right. Yeah, I think the boxes was just a fun little thing. I don't think it... This keeps happening! <gasps> I found it! Input, input received. What the frick? I've made it to heaven. I've done it, guys. I, 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 I beat the game. I've made it to heaven. There are buttons. I, they're just singing about buttons. It's beautiful. I 
have legit no idea how the crap I got here or what the crap this is. Uh, oh. It's beautiful. This ending was worth it. Alright, enough of that. I heard them sing about buttons and I don't think it does any. But that was awesome. I made it to heaven, guys. All you have to do is find a computer that says awaiting input. Do I just do it again? Can I just do it whenever now? Okay, I guess if I just wanted to go back, I can do that now. All of his co-workers. All right, on. I'm just gonna move on. Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. For Perhaps now. He had simply missed a memo. Um, I don't think I can get through any more like windows or whatever. Well, I made it to heaven, guys. Are you proud of me? When Stanley came to no. a set of two open doors, <laughs> this was not the correct way to the meeting room. I do Stanley know it. Perfectly well. Leave me alone. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge I first, do. just to admire it. I want to stop by the employee lounge. Wow. Yes. This. And room. now I want to keep going. But eager to get back to business, Stanley yes. took the first I open door on go his left. <clears throat> this way. I got stuck on the door. Stanley was so bad at following directions. I I was am thing. Ago. Have I tried to go through that door over there? Okay, I'm pretty sure I made it all the way up there. I'm pretty sure I jumped down to that. Have I tried to go through that? Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong We have. Here. I'm not your enemy. You're really evil. Not. You're my enemy. I realize that investing in your trust in someone else can be difficult. It but is. the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you. I don't think I can go through time. that door down there, so I'm going to just keep There's going this way. you've been neglecting, Stanley. Someone you've forgotten about. Oh yeah, the phone. I'm gonna answer it. Every decision by yourself. Now, I'm not asking. I did the comedic me. thing and unplugged it the last time. This is good standing. Your okay. chance to redeem yourself, to put your work aside, to let her back into your life. I'm assuming some romance She's story is gonna. To... Oh gosh. That's her standing. All right, pick up phone. Some romance story is gonna. Not bromance. Romance. I don't know what I said. 427. Oh, this is... Stanley, is that you? Uh, hold on, sweetie. Sorry to keep you waiting. I'm just pulling the bread out of the oven. All right. Okay, there we go. All right, now, I want you to come in and tell me all about... Your day. <laughs> the heck? <laughs> gotcha. Oh, come on. Rude. Did you actually think you had a loving wife? Who'd want to commit their life to you? Um, I'm trying to make a point here, Stanley. Me, duh. I'm trying to get you to see something. Come inside. Let me show you what's so really freaking going rude. Here. You know what? No, I'm going down this hallway. Sorry, no. but you're in my story ah. now. Ah. Fine, 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 fine. I'm gonna watch TV. This is a very sad story about the death of a man named Stanley. Good morning, employee four two seven. Press eight on your keyboard. No. Stanley is quite a boring fellow. He has a job that demands nothing of him, and every button that Crap he pushes you. is a reminder of the inconsequential nature of his existence. I want food. Make me a sandwich. Look at him controversial there, pushing jokes. buttons, doing exactly what he's told. Yeah, because to you're do. not now he's pushing a button. That was now, a... he's eating lunch. That was now, a couch a minute ago. Home. Now, He's coming back to work. That was definitely a couch a minute ago. sorry for him, except that he's chosen this life. But in his mind, ah, in his mind he can go on fantastic adventures. From behind his desk, Stanley dreamed of Maybe that was a desk. into the unknown. Fantastic discoveries. Probably of going lands. insane. It was wonderful. And each day that he returned to work was a reminder that I'm just none gonna of it like ever this. happened to him. And so he began to fantasize that about changed. his own job. That changed. First, that changed. That one day while it's turning back he stepped into my office his desk to realize that all of his co-workers, his boss, everyone in the this building the story. Had suddenly vanished yes, off thank the face you. of the earth. The For telling me the story. Excited him terribly. 6 to spend time with the boys. What? So, he went further. He imagined that he came to two open doors and that he could go through either. At last, Choice. 
It barely even mattered what lay behind each door. So the mere thought that his decisions would mean something was dream. almost too wonderful to behold. Telling me everything I've done from day one was a dream. He's told me so many different things, though, from different endings. I don't world. know what to expect. He began to fill it with many possible Can't go out that window. and destinations. That was Down one kitchen path lay an enormous go. round room. With monitors and mind controls. Yes, yes. We've been through all that. Down another was a yellow line that weaved in many directions. Oh, I remember the and yellow down line. Down another was a game with a baby. <sighs> and I called it the Stanley Parable. Ah. Eat to tell your it kids the story. It was such a wonderful fantasy. And so in his head, he relived it again. And then again. And again. Over and over. Wishing beyond hope that it would never end. That he might always feel this free. Surely there's an answer down some new path, mustn't there be? Perhaps if he mm. played just one more time. Mm. Tell your wife you love her. Um. But there is no oh. answer. How could there possibly be? In reality, all Crap. he's doing is pushing Fine. the same buttons he always has. Nothing has changed. Um. The longer he spends here, the more in psychology. He gets, the more he forgets which life is the real one. Uh, cue to go to sleep. And I'm trying to tell him this. That in this world, he can never be anything but an observer. That as long no. as he remains here, he's slowly killing himself. I'm gonna sit in this corner he and won't listen to deny me. everything. He won't stop. Here, watch this. Stanley, the next time the screen asks you to push a button, do not do it. Okay. Crap this. You see? Can he just not hear me? How can I tell him in a way that he'll understand that every second he remains here, he's electing to kill himself? How can I get him to see what I see? How can I make him look at himself? Press H to question nothing. I suppose I can't. Not in the way I want him to. But I don't make the rules. I simply play don't to you my intended kind purpose. of actually do make Stanley. the rules? We're not so different, I suppose. I'll try once more to convey all this to him. I'm compelled to. I must. Yeah, yeah. Perhaps, well, maybe this time you'll see. You've told me so maybe many different things time. over the time. You liar! I know not I what to expect. Again. What the and Stanley frick? Pushed a button. And I tried again. And Stanley pushed a button. And I tried. I just started trying to type, please die. And oh, so this is like a permanent thing, I guess. At least while I'm playing right now. That is all the time I have for for this episode. I made it to heaven, and also I was shown how much of a depressing life I have. Sadness. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy it, please definitely like the smash button and if you're new around here hit the subscribe button to see more gaming stuffs like this also hit that bell icon so you get notified every time i upload a video and i will see all of you guys in that same next video bye